Hi there, in this video I will show you how you can set up basic movements like forward, back, left, right and jumping just for both keyboards, Azerty and QWERTY. Now why is this important? There are two different types of keyboards in the world. Most people use the QWERTY keyboard. Cuts its names because this is the setup. Just look at your own keyboard, probably it is like this. But for people in France and Belgium, they use the Azerdi keyboard. Now if you play games, you are used to WASD controls for first-person shooters or other games. Also the viewport here in Unreal Engine, you can just move around with these keys. Now that is a problem if you are using this Azerdi keyboard, because when you hit W, nothing happens, and if you hit Z, then you want to move forward. Same for Q and A. So we are going to fix this in Unreal Engine. You can just follow along and copy as I do and it will be fixed. So when you release a game, both QWERTY and Azerty people can play it. And also if you are a Azerty user, you will have the input for the viewport here. So let's edit this in the edit, editor preferences. Now. Your screen may be loose, so I find it convenient to dock it right here. And then you go to Keyboard Shortcuts and go all the way down and look for Viewport Navigation. Now I changed these keys, so you can just copy as I did here. And then you can just export and later import it again if you want to use it in other projects, but you just have to copy these settings and everything should be fine. Now if you are a QWERTY user you don't have to do this but for gameplay you can just skip to the next step. If you're having an Azerdi keyboard you better set it up like this so that way when you go to the viewport to edit your games you hit the right mouse button and then you can use these keys to navigate around go up down really fast. Okay so for the gameplay itself because right now when I hit uh, w, I go forward, but I want to use Z. But let's see how that works to set it up in Unreal. Go to Edit, but this time choose Project Settings. You can already close this one. And then you find Engine, and then you look for Input. And especially Access Mapping. Just open it up, and then Click both, move right and move forward is for later on. Move right right now is set to A and D. Because here, A and D, you move forward. D is okay, but A and Q I have to also add. So you hit the plus icon and below here, you just find Q on the keyboard, Q. And just copy the value scale one. Now our I already did this, so I'm going to delete it, but you can just copy this here. And the same for move forward. So move forward here, you can compare W and Z. So W, I just added to the keyboard Z. And this time I have to change the value of the scale as well. So I leave this as one. What I also did on the axis, is put left and right, the arrows on the keyboard, to move left and right as well. So again, just look right up here, for example, left, and then you look for keyboard here, left, and this time you have to copy the value of A, and instead of one, you have to type minus one, because the negative value goes to the left, and a positive value make it go right. So do the same for the right one as well, I already did this. Because I find it much more enjoyable if my left and right arrow on my keyboard do the same as my A and D key on my keyboard. And then I deleted them here in turn. But this last step is optional, you can just copy as I did or just leave this step as is. So right now you have move forward for the Z and move right for Q and right now when you go to play you should be able to move left with Q and go right with D up with C and down with S but you can also move W A 
SD as well. So both players can use it and also your arrow keys on the keyboard, they just work fine as in most FPS games. And you can just still jump around and everything should be still fine. So I hope this tips works, I was looking a lot for it and I'm happy I found it, so I hope you do as well. Please like the video if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol, that way you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. And remember to have a great day, see you next time.